Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss one more concept called scenario outline. So whenever you need to supply multiple set of data in a step, you can use the concept of data table. Now assume that there is a scenario which have multiple steps and for every step you need to supply multiple set of data. In this case, you will end up creating multiple data table belonging to individual step. Now the problem with the approach of having multiple data table is, first of all, because you have multiple data table, it is very difficult to maintain. Second, it is very confusing to identify the mapping of the data across the step. So to solve all this problem, we can use the concept of scenario outline. Scenario outline can be defined as when the data table is applicable to all the step which is present inside a scenario. That means there will be only single data table which will supply the value to all the step which is present inside a scenario. Now, when you want to create a scenario outline, you need to use scenario outline keyword instead of scenario and as well as use the example keyword to define the data table. So again, inside our feature file here, I will create a scenario outline. So instead of using the scenario keyword, I will use the scenario outline. So this is how you define the scenario outline. You will have a scenario outline which will be similar to that of scenario means just providing a short description followed by all the step which will take certain arguments and based on the header name you will specify that from which column the value should be supplied and using the example keyword you will define a data table that will supply the value to these steps so during the runtime this value will be supplied two steps in the scenario outline so as you can see here there are three rows that means this entire scenario will get executed thrice which represent which represent one set of each row in the example and uh, based on the header it will automatically supply the corresponding value from the data table to these steps okay so this kind of approach is really helpful when you are doing the data driven testing okay when you want to run your entire scenario again a set of data